Guess what time it is, scientists? It's time for science experiment of the week number 10. This is Mrs. Aquilia. I'm here in my kitchen science lab, and today I'm going to show you the results of a chemical reaction. So we've worked with chemical reactions before, and the one that I always go to is the baking soda and the vinegar. Remember, a chemical reaction is when we combine two things to create something else. And I added a little bit of food coloring for some extra pizzazz. And when we add the vinegar to the baking soda, we're getting this invisible gas called carbon dioxide and we can't see it, but we know it's there because we see and hear all of those bubbles. And we're gonna be talking about a different kind of reaction today. But it's important to understand something about vinegar. Vinegar is used in a lot of different chemical reactions because of the way that it's made. It has something in it called acid. This is the word acid. I hope you can see this. Acid is this natural chemical that's in vinegar, and that's what gives it that really strong smell. And that acid is why vinegar reacts with so many different things. And acid is actually found naturally in a lot of different things. It's actually found in a lot of the fruits that we eat. Um, lemons have a special kind of acid called citric acid, and that's what makes them so sour. Like when you taste a lemon and you go, that's the citric acid that, that makes it taste like that. And that citric acid is also what gave us the result of the lemon volcano. When we combined that, that citric acid in the lemon juice with the baking soda, we created all of those bubbles, much like what I just showed you in the sink, right? And today we're gonna to be doing a chemical reaction with an egg. Now, when we think of an egg, we typically think of it as having a couple of different parts to it. We have this, um, the yellow part inside, which is called the yolk. And then we have this white part that's around the yolk and it's called the white. And then it's all inside of the shell. And we know that the shell is what's around the outside of the egg that protects it. But you know what? There is actually a secret layer inside the egg that most people don't know about. And I'm gonna show this to you using a hard boiled egg. A hard boiled egg is just an egg that's been cooked so that we can crack it open and look inside of it. So do you see that on the inside of the shell, there's it's kind of this wrinkly stuff and it's called membrane. And the membrane, it's almost like a really thin plastic layer that is attached to the inside of the shell. And if you look carefully, we can see it. I'm having a really hard time with my camera skills today. We can see it inside of the shell. Oh my God, where is it? Here it is. You can see that it's inside of the shell. It's this thin layer that protects the egg, okay? So around the white part of the egg, we have what's called the membrane, and around the membrane is the shell. And the shell is actually made of something called calcium carbonate, and it's not important to remember that name, but it's really cool to know that calcium carbonate is also what makes up um, seashells, and it's what makes up chalk. You know, the chalk that you can draw with on the ground, the colored chalk? You know, teachers used to use chalk all the time. I'm, I know you don't know, and maybe your parents are old enough to remember chalk, but we used to write on a big blackboard with chalk. And chalk, and even a certain kind of rock called limestone, is made of the same kind of hard protective material that the shell of an egg is made out of. Okay, so these things are important to understand for today's experiment. The shell, the membrane, and the acid in the vinegar. So all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a clear container that has some vinegar in it, and I'm going to just take a regular raw egg, and I'm going to put it right in there. And I'm gonna take it over to the window where there's more light. 
to show you what's going on in here. Are you able to see what is forming around the outside of the shell? That writing on the egg, by the way, that pink writing is just <laughs> the company that makes the egg. So your egg probably may not have that. There are bubbles forming around that shell. And not only are the bubbles forming all around the shell, but they're also rising up. Do you see that? Through the vinegar. My lovely flag in the background. So this egg has only been in this vinegar for like 30 seconds and it's already begun to react with the vinegar. Bubbles are forming. And I wanna show you what this egg is gonna look like in 24 hours. 24 hours is a whole day. If you put an egg in vinegar for an entire day, it will end up looking like this. Watch this. Now you know if we do this with a regular raw egg, it's gonna break and make a ginormous mess. Although if I do this too hard, the same thing will happen. I know that because I've done it. But the question I have for you is, what has happened to this egg? How is this suddenly bouncing like a ball? Well, I'll give you a hint. The shell is gone. What happened to the shell is the vinegar, because of the acid, caused the shell to disintegrate, to dissolve. And these are two words that basically mean that it has come apart and mixed together with the vinegar. You know if your mom makes like lemonade or iced tea from a powder or like Kool-Aid or something and the powder gets mixed with the, um, the water, and you mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it, and eventually you don't have powder and water, you just have colored water. And that's what happened to the shell. It disintegrated, it broke down, and it mixed in with the vinegar. So this bouncy egg has no shell. So what is keeping everything together inside this egg? Because this is raw. This is not a cooked egg like this. This is a raw egg. So one of my questions for you is what happened to the egg? <laughs> How is it able to bounce and what is holding it all together? And look at this thing still bubbling away. But I wanna show you something else too. I have another raw egg that I'm just gonna grab and hold it up next to the bouncy egg. Do you see how different they look from each other? Do you see how much bigger the bouncy egg is? How is that possible? That bouncy egg was the same raw egg as the white one 24 hours ago. And now the shell is gone, it's much bigger, and it's bouncy. So these are the questions that I have for you. So boys and girls, if you are in grades three through five, your assignment is gonna be based on this experiment. And no matter what grade you're in, I would love to see your bouncy eggs. So I wanna see your pictures of the bouncy eggs. I wanna see you bouncing them. Parents, I'm warning you, if they bounce them too hard, you're gonna have a mess. So they may wanna bounce them around in the bathtub. That would be fun. Okay, scientists, I hope you enjoyed the bouncy egg experiment and I will see you next time.